me, Brizzy, and today I am doing two makeup looks of Delphi Diggory from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I know the play came out well over a year ago, but if you have not yet read it, or you have any intention to see the play and don't want any of the visuals spoiled, if there are any kinds of Cursed Child spoilers that you don't want, don't watch this video until you're ready. Because this video is going to be chock full of what I consider to be the biggest spoilers of Cursed Child. Now currently, there are absolutely no public high quality images of Delphi in costume from the play in London. But luckily, I saw the play last October, and I tried to take as many mental notes as possible as far as her hair, her makeup, her costume. So the entirety of this tutorial is going to be based upon that memory and my own interpretation of the character filling in the blanks. It's not gonna be entirely accurate because it's really just based upon my memory, but you'll kind of get the gist. Disclaimer over, you can't say I didn't warn you. Let's go. Hey YouTube, Delphini Diggory at your service. Tired of looking like a boring muggle? Let me show you how to spice up your look with just a pinch of innocent magic. Totally innocent and not evil at all. I'm just a quirky chick with silver and blue hair. Nothing to see here. Anyway, right, yes. Start with concealer to cover up any spots or dark eye circles. Because after all, you're totally not evil, so you don't want any spooky hollow eyes like Bellatrix the Strange, right? Even if it's just genetic? Right, so dab it on and blend it out to look natural and less like a crazy evil death eater. Next, pull out your spell book and summon some eyeshadow. Start with a pale creamy shade like Prophecy. Not that prophecies are of any importance to you. Cover your brow bone, the inner corner of your eye, and your eyelid in Prophecy. This light shade will help give you a nice blank canvas to let the other colors pop. Next, grab a shimmery silver color like Jinx to cover your eyelid. This is the only time I'll ever recommend jinxing your eyelids. Now grab Merlin and ask him to turn your crease blue. Not green, because green is Slytherin, which is evil, and we're not evil, so blue. Blue's innocent, right? Blend it in with a fluffy spell. Add some of that Merlin blue to your lower lash line, focusing on the outer corner. Sorry so much of this was filmed poorly, I know you can barely see. I don't have much experience with muggle cameras. Add a bit of Merlin across your upper lash line if you like. Now you've got a nice, sparkly, subtle, innocent eyeshadow look. Success! Now pull out a liquid foundation charm and dab it all over your face and neck. Careful not to get any on your skull choker, which you're wearing because you're a quirky punk girl, not an evil witch. Liquid eyeliner time. I know you can't see what's happening here, so maybe just Google some other winged eyeliner tutorial, but give yourself a nice thin little wing. Black wings, like say, an augury. Beautiful creatures, but I digress. Next, with a black eyeliner pencil, fill in the outer corner of your lower waterline. Just a little bit because you're punk. Not too much because you're not a descendant of Voldemort, you know? <laughs> just, just smudge it out. Now powder your face and neck. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Puff, puff, puff. Hufflepuff. With an angled brush, grab some broomstick brown and cauldron black and fill in your eyebrows. Give them a nice soft curve. Nothing too harsh, long or angled. Because like I said, totally not evil. Sorry, again, you can't see this, I just... Ugh, oh, muggle electronics. But there they are, there's how they should turn out. Now grab some black mascara and apply them to your top lashes. Just like, I mean, you know how to use mascara, right? Now for some shimmery pink blush. Just plop it right onto the apples of your cheeks like the innocent little quirky girl that you are. Now with some bronzer, we're just gonna barely hint at contouring. Curve it under the apples of your cheeks and up your cheekbones. Gotta emphasize those cute little chubby innocent cheeks. Now for a subtle berry colored lipstick. Mwah! Too cute. Now you can't be a quirky witch with boring old red hair, you silly. So assuming you're not a metamorphomagus, or committed enough to actually bleach your hair, pop on a nice silver and blue wig. Lace fronts can be quite temperamental at times, but if you glue down the edges, it should look realistic enough from far away. I got this wig as pure silver, and I added black eyeshadow to the roots and sprayed the ends blue with FW ink. Now you can let your hair down like Rapunzel if you want to go glam. Long, luscious locks can be pretty cool, but if you've got an active, quirky lifestyle like me, throw that hair up in a messy, I don't even care ponytail. The fluffier the better. Throw on a grey jacket, a long grey tunic, some tight black trousers, or leggings, black boots, and BAM! You're me! You look just like a Miss Diggory's super cool, totally innocent niece Delphi. But, uh, what if you don't feel like being so innocent anymore? Thanks for the super cool time turner, dude. I guess now's as good a time as any to let you know that I'm not just a sweet punk rock teenage witch. 
So let me show you how to transform from Delphi Diggory to Delphini Riddle, the Augury. Let's double up on the silver jinx on your eyelids. Now with a dark grey cloak colour, fill in your crease, the outer corner of your eye and the upper lash line. Blend it all out. Grab that black cauldron colour and go as crazy as you like on the outer corner of your eye and blend it out generously. Double up if you want, you don't need to hide your darkness anymore. Now with that liquid liner, it's time to spread your wings. I know you can't see what's happening, but just extend the black wings for a more dramatic look. Feel free to go even more dense than this. You're ready to fly. With a black eyeliner pencil, fill in the entirety of your lower lash line. Use cauldron again to intensify your eyebrows. Now we're going for long, dark, and angular. Grab some cool false eyelashes from the House of Black, I, I mean, uh, House of Lashes, and glue them on. For the ultimate I'm evil, don't kiss me look, cover your lips in black liquid lipstick. Now with silver eyeliner, we're going to add my signature augury face paint. A V down the middle of your forehead. Give the whole world the two finger salute. And two parallel lines about an inch outside it. We're going to complete this evil face paint with a little silver goatee because why not? Draw a narrow triangle on your chin. Now grab that grey cloak and give yourself a bit of evil contour. A hint at the cheekbones your mum gave you and a killer jawline. You're proud to be the augury, so wear your feathers proud and slap on some black nail polish because ooh, you're dark. Oh, and the wand you get to use for that spell? Inherited from daddy, of course. You don't need to hide it anymore. You are the augury and you're going to go back in time and take control of your own destiny. Thank you for watching wizards and witches. As for you muggles, the views of you, so thank you too. Still going to subjugate your kind though. Oh, I almost forgot. For a bit more of a feathery crown, pop the top of your hair into a cool mohawky pompadour. Because why not? Okay, now you've actually completed your evil look. Leave a comment below with your favourite thing about the Dark Lord. Hit thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you made it this far, you might as well. And Brizzy will see you next week with a brand new video. Nox.